the first Christmas special Boston Critic Review today. Wait, what's the Disney classic Santa Claus? The second day of Christmas, the Boston Critic. Wait, the second Christmas special, the Boston Critic Review today. Wait, the Santa Claus 2. Oh, so this is uh, uh, the sequel to the first Santa Claus movie, and this is the the first time I see this one. I actually saw this one in theaters. Or it was back in 2002. Oh, and... And... <coughs> oh, sorry. I'm just going to say this right now. I'm probably only, one of the only people that thought the sequel was better than the first one. Oh, and I think it's funnier. I like the story a little bit more. I like the effects more. Or, I mean... I mean, I think it's great. Oh, and the, um... <coughs> The story is about Scott Calvin again, played again by Tim Allen, and he, oh yeah, um, oh, what do you call it, he has to get, oh, he finds out that he has to get married, oh, and he finds out oh, from one of his elves, known as Curtis, played by Spencer Branslin, who you know him as Cubby from Return to Neverland, and Curtis, no, oh, Conrad from The Cat in the Hat, starring Mike Myers. So, oh, um, Oh, but that's going on. There's a, there's a few other subplots in the movie. Like one of them about Charlie being on the naughty list, and another one to create um a toy center who's played by, by uh, Tim Allen. So Tim Allen is also the villain in this movie. In the first film, there was no villain, uh, but and now in this one there is. So, oh um, so basically Scott Calvin um <clears throat> basically dates or is, uh, Charlie's principal. Well, because the reason why that Charlie's on the naughty list is because he's been doing graffiti or he had his school and his principal is not very amused about about it and stuff. So, so, so much like typical teenagers, they do constantly get in trouble. Well, of course, there's teenagers out there that are actually good, but still. Also, uh, so the, <coughs> so the romance in this movie with, uh, with Scott and, on um and the principal is very well, it is naturally very genuine and it is very sweet. I mean, the principal herself is really beautiful. Well, to be very honest, she's a very beautiful lady. I oh, and um oh, and much like the first film, they do that kind of thing that they don't believe if that um on that Scott Calvin is a Santa Claus basically. Oh, so the principal doesn't believe that, so she really thinks that he was crazy or something. Uh, but uh, they did this kind of thing in the first film, so they're doing it here, but it's kind of understandable, but I think they could have done, like, something on else or something, like, a little bit more new to it. The, um, I really like how the, um, the toy Santa, played by, <laughs> played by Tim Allen, who, uh, which I forgot to mention, is, a, like, a, like I said, is a, is a villain, and he wants to, um, well, he mis he just basically thinks that every kid is naughty and decides that they... Should never make toys ever again, and just make a, a, a love of coal for them. Oh, which I have to admit that that idea alone is pretty funny. So, oh, um, the jokes from this guy are literally the funniest parts of the movie. There's um, there's other characters in the movie, like the same ones from the first one, and the one new other character, right there, aside from Curtis, or is in the principal, the Tim Allen uh, toys to toy guy, or is the um, is the niece Lucy. Which is played, which believe it or not, is played by like, Panini from Chowder and Lenny Loud from The Loud House and Beth from Bravest Warriors. And also Human Kimberly from the Nickelodeon show Cat Scratch, you know, la 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 la, Cat Scratch. Which that show was made by uh, the creator of uh, Earthworm Jim. Um, so, oh, uh, yeah, it's that same actress, which is really neat. Wait, so, um,. Um, what do you call it? The, uh, the North Pole itself is really good, and it is very creative. Oh, well, like, it actually looks better than the original, and the CG effects are actually a lot better here, too. In the first film, you really tell it's seriously dated, and I really didn't think the, the, uh, the CG in that film worked at all, personally. I thought it was, but I thought it was bad. Laughably bad. Oh, but, but that was the, yo. but still. Um, what do you call it? Alright, so... Well, the jokes work better here, honestly, and I really think it's really nice and Christmassy as well. The characters are still very... are actually lovable here. 
or they were or in the first film. Well, um, <clears throat> but so I honestly do recommend on checking uh, Santa Claus too if you like if you have like Disney Plus or something. On it. so some people might like the first film better, but me personally, or the uh, I think the sequel is per is honestly the better movie. As well as probably one of my favorite Christmas movies to watch. But I guess the first film I could add it in as well. But I definitely love this one better. If you have seen the movie, what'd you think? Just comment below, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and start no Instagram. Um and tomorrow will be the third one. Which I'm not happy which I'm not excited to re well, maybe I am excited to talk about it, but I'm not excited to give out my opinions on it because you will see how bad this one one is. So that's pretty much it. Don't forget to also subscribe and click like on this video, and I will see you later. Take care.